All right, guys, it is a new decade. 2020 is here, and that means a new kid is on the block for the best base gun to build upon, and it's not G&G. &G. Oh my. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you enjoy watching our content, show us some love by liking the video and ring the bell to make sure you get notified whenever we drop new content. We appreciate you all. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kevin from Airsoft GI and we get this question a lot. People always ask, what is a great M4 base to start with if I plan on upgrading it in the future? And I used to say that the G&G CM16 was the way to go. But now with these Lancer Tactical Gen 2 M4s, these are the way to go. So if you're in the market to build out your own M4, here are some key features that you need to keep in mind. First thing is standard version 2 gearbox compatibility. Next up is drop-in MOSFET compatibility. And lastly is the trigger board compatibility. So one of the many pitfalls in Airsoft right now are experiences where you buy a gun that you really like, the look of, you bring it home, you also buy some upgrade parts to increase the performance. You open that guy up and you try to drop those parts in and unfortunately the inside is proprietary. You hate to see it, I hate to see it, it hurts me on the inside very deeply. Now circling back to why we picked Lancer Tactical as the best base upgrade is because they do accept any standard version 2 gearbox upgrades, they do accept aftermarket MOSFETs and they do accept any standard version 2 trigger upgrades as well all within an affordable price. You're probably wondering why we picked the Lancer Tactical Gen 2 M4s over the G&G CM16s. It's because these rifles perform better out of the box than the G&G CM16s since they come with upgraded features such as a Type or inner barrel, 8mm bushings, a rotary style hop up, and even a quick change spring system. So both the Lancer Tactical Gen 2s and the Combat Machines are affordable guns because they're both made out of polymer. And back in the day, G&G was known for having the best polymer builds out in the market compared to some of the competitors who had some pretty cheap plastic options. But now that the airsoft industry has caught up to G&G's polymer builds, such as these Lancer Tactical M4s, picking up one of these guys feels very similar to G&G's Combat Machine line. It's very similar in quality, very sturdy, very strong, and if I wasn't looking at the brand, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Another reason why Lancer Tactical's Gen 2 line is so versatile is because it comes in so many variations. Compared to G&G's Combat Machine line, you're pretty limited in terms of color and style. Uh, for Lancer Tactical, you can even go with a free float version, a soft mod version, they even have a key mod version here and even an M-Lock version over here that's much longer. So as you can see, there's much more variation in choices that you can choose compared to the combat machine. In addition to the different styles of M4s that you can choose from, they also come in different colors, such as black, tan, or on some models, even gray. So at such an affordable price for these M4s, you're probably thinking that this is all it comes with. But in the box, you actually do get some goodies such as a high cap, uh, M4 mag, a charger, and the battery, as well as a bag of BBs that you can actually use and not throw away. Most of the time I've seen baby baggies of maybe like 200 rounders and usually they're pretty crappy material, but these are actually Lancer Tactical's branded uh, BBs. So you can actually use these and they come in a bag of 1000. Uh, next up, you get a patch and a very kinky whipping stick. I, I mean a unjamming rod. In addition to all those goodies in each box, you do also get a one year warranty, which is arguably one of the best warranty policies in the airsoft market right now. So for some of us, affordability is pretty subjective. So let's go ahead and just lay out the prices for you to see and you can judge it for yourselves. So starting with the Sopmon version, uh, this guy is gonna go for 134. And then next up we have the Keymon version, which is going for 145. After that is going to be the uh, M-Lock version going for 153 and lastly it will be the free floating one uh, for 160 at airsoftgi.com. So understandably, these rifles are priced at different price points depending on what length you decide to go with or color or accessories that you decide to go with. Um, but they're still able to keep it under $200 and that is just because that they decided to not bring their own MOSFET 
into this system, which I mean, if you're going to go into buying an M4 with the mindset of upgrading it anyways, you're probably gonna be dropping in your own MOSFET. So it's good to see that they do accept those MOSFETs and you won't be having any trouble installing them. To put the cherry on top with these Lancer Tactical M4s, the cheapest option here is still more affordable than the current GAG combat machine out there. And you can definitely use that money that you save to put into even more upgrade parts that you were planning on getting anyway. Next up, we're gonna actually have Cisco build out one of these guys so you guys can see the potential of what kind of upgrades you can put in here. Cisco! Cisco! Don't knock over that stand. Sorry. All right, you guys, I'm gonna be doing the custom build section of this gun. I have the gray version with the quad rail on here. I'm basically gonna be turning this into a CQB monster. So I'm gonna be gutting out the internals and changing it from a carbine length down to more of a CQB length rifle. Let's get into it. All right guys, this is the completed build as you guys saw in the video. So I went from a carbine length rifle down to the CQB length rifle that you see in front of me. And there was a lot of changes that I did and some of the parts I didn't really need to change. But for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show that it was able to be upgraded. So externally, I was able to change out the barrel and the rail system, the pistol grip and the stock. The stock is actually really easy, uh, not too like, fancy there. But getting into the internals, into the gearbox, I was able to swap out the gear set, all the compression set, and I was even able to swap out the standard trigger unit for the Jeftron Leviathan MOSFET, which gives it a very snappy trigger response and a good rate of fire, paired with the classic Army 25K high-speed high torque motor. Going into the hop-up unit, I swapped the inner barrel out for a Type 4 inner barrel and a flat hop bucking. Now, it does come with a 6.03 inner barrel out of the box already, but for the sake of the video, I swapped it out. Didn't really need to, but you know, just to do it. So putting aftermarket parts, it wasn't actually that hard. The most difficulty that I had was with the Leviathan MOSFET. This is actually the first time that I installed one into a gun. And there were a few modifications that I had to do to the gearbox, like shave some of the posts down and make sure that it was properly aligned with the sector gear, just to make sure it was running smoothly. And once I got everything set up, it was perfect. Um, other than that, everything else was just like a standard version two gearbox. I had no issues. So for those of you who love supporting the channel and supporting Airsoft GI, this gun is actually going to be sold as a custom gun. I'm gonna have the text go through it to give it the once over to make sure that it is perfect. And yeah, stay tuned on the website. Let's go give it a test fire. All right guys, Cisco here. As you can see, uh, we ran out to the range and I lost a few pounds from that run. So I'm out here and we're gonna be doing a comparison of the stock Lancer Tactical that uh, Cisco, I mean, uh, I built out. We're gonna be comparing the stock gun to the built out one just to see the uh, differences and the potential that this guy can actually turn into. So let's go ahead and check the, this guy and see how he shoots stock straight out of the box. And uh, yeah, we have a target set up roughly 80 feet away from us. We're using two five gram BBs and uh, just using the battery that came with the gun inside of the box. Check this guy out. All right, so first thing that I noticed is that the trigger pull is very nice, um, but the actual action of the BB firing feels a little bit sluggish which is to be expected from a gun right out of the box. Um, grouping is pretty tight, as I can see from the target over there. I'm actually hitting the target. Uh, we did dial in the hop up, so that's good to see. Um, but overall, it's a pretty standard stock gun. Feels nice, but definitely some room for improvement. Let's see this guy on full auto real quick. It's, it's stock. All right, 
Now let's go ahead and compare it to the upgraded gun that Cisco, I, I mean, I built out. All right, now here we have the gun that Cisco, uh, I mean, I built out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and compare the performance with that stock one over there. So let's go ahead and take a few shots at the target. We're still roughly the same distance as the last one. So let's go ahead and shoot this guy. All right, so first thing I gotta say is the trigger response on this guy is super snappy. Uh, there's no sluggishness anywhere compared to the stock one, which is, you know, what we were expecting anyways. Uh, the grouping actually felt much tighter than the stock one uh, as well, uh, even though the stock one did perform pretty well in, in terms of grouping. This guy just nailing the shots down range, even though uh, we built this guy out for CQB, it can still reach out and touch those further targets down the line. And uh, yeah, let's uh, put this guy in full auto. Oh yeah, that is much better. All right, we're back at the studio, so let's go ahead and take a look at the targets that we were shooting at with each of these guns. So here's the target that we were shooting at with the stock Lancer Tactical with no upgrades at all. As you can see, there are plenty of shots on here that we were landing at the distance that we were at, which was very surprising to see. Most AEGs straight out of the box at this price point uh, have many flyers and not really accurate, but this guy was nailing these shots from that distance, and I do believe it is because of the 603 type of inner barrel that's already included in here. So that is nice to see. We just kind of circled the uh, area where it had the tightest mass of BBs that we're hitting. So right around here, as you can see, there's quite a few shots within this circle center mass. Um, pretty good uh, for a stock gun out of the box. So now we have the target that we were shooting at with the upgraded Lancer Tactical Gun. As you can see, there are many more BB markings on here. We actually tested it at the same range. And even though this guy was built more for CQB, the inner barrel is a little bit shorter. Uh, it is still the same diameter and we were still hitting the target from that 80 feet distance. And if anything, we hit it even more. As you can see, that center mass circle that we kind of drew, there are much more markings on the inside of it than the previous one. And uh, that's pretty impressive seeing that it was built for CQB, but it can still reach the target at the range that we were at. And I definitely want to give props to Lance Tactical for providing such a different variety with all of their Gen 2 M4 platforms. You can get so many different shapes and colors and sizes compared to some of the other competitors at this price point, whose base platforms look pretty plain Jane in my opinion and these guys like I said you can leave it stock externally and use that saved money to upgrade the internals but still have a nice looking gun so if you're actually interested in purchasing this exact gun that Cisco built out we are actually offering it as a custom gun built out at airsoftgi.com the link is in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out over there all right guys that's going to wrap it up for this video if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe as well as ringing the bell icon wherever it is to be notified of whenever we upload new videos we are uploading every monday and friday so be sure to tune in to our next video also if you think that the new lantic tactical gen 2 m4s are the new combat machine of this year please let us know in the comments below this is kevin from airsoft gi and thank you for watching bottle of bb's 15 dollars bism gun bag 20 dollars gi custom 600 dollars dead rag well technically they're free but Zero dollars. Shooting your friends without getting arrested? Priceless. There are some things money just can't buy. But for everything else airsoft, there's Wombo Combo.